Well, it's Wine Wednesday, Diamond. One thing we've learned on AM Extra over the years is that there are several national wine holidays, including tomorrow, which is National Wine and Cheese Day. Ah, uh, yes, and we must celebrate. A great place to do that, too, is over at Benza Vineyards, located just southwest of Hillsboro. So joining us on the couch to go over their wine selection and signature beautiful cheese board, we have Peyton West, head winemaker over at Benza, and we also have Cellar Associate and Culinary Program Lead, Ivan Minuet. Good morning to you both. Good morning, you guys. Morning. Thanks for having us. Thanks of for course. being here. Yeah. Truly for stunning. In. 10 out of 10 on presentation points. <laughs> you absolutely, killed it. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, well, first tell us about Benza Vineyards. Not too far from Portland, so if yeah. people are, are, are in the city looking to branch out to celebrate this, yeah. that's not too far away. No, not at all. Close proximity. I mean, just a, a touch over 30 minutes out. Um, it's a little bit closer than some other areas like Dundee, McMinnville, and Eola for sure. So it's a, a nice little neighborhood up there. Um, Benza Vineyard sits right in the middle of 15 and a half acres of beautiful Laurelwood District AVA Vineyard. So when you're there, I mean, you're completely immersed and uh, it's a great spot and we do tons of different wines out there. We do traditional sparkling of something very interesting with our Pinot Gris that not everyone else does. Mm. Um, we actually have a Syrah, which we can try today. We have Pinot and then more importantly, we've got more dogs than you know what to do with. Oh. So, and they vary from like it's a great Pyrenees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, that's why I worked there. Yeah, <laughs> right. It was a big perk, yeah. And then we've got uh, some chickens as well and we sell the eggs too. So it's kind of a farm. If you're looking to get out and experience, you know, some great wines, beautiful vineyard, beautiful view and some animals, it's a great spot. That's great. To. I also yeah. love that it kind of reminds you, I mean, you go wine tasting and I feel like sometimes you forget like, you know, winemakers, the, you're farmers. Yes, I mean, that's, that's, true. that's what you are yep. at, at the end of the day. Um, that's right. I know you opened a bottle of Syrah. Yeah, if you want to pour that out, to see what that one you know looks like it's gonna yeah. be delicious i'm sure Absolutely. um so you mentioned syrah what else do you what do you pour you have some bubbles here as well we do yeah so we focus um a lot on traditional method sparkling right which is not forced carbonated sparkling it actually you know goes through the traditional method of re-fermenting in the bottle and we age it for up to two to three years sometimes five on some of our things um but yeah, so the Syrah in this general is from mm. the Rocks District of Milton Freewater, which is quite an incredible spot. Um, you know, it's pretty much like 25 minutes outside of Walla Walla, Washington. Nice. And it is very hard to get fruit from there. They're very well known for this incredible river rock bed that is the entirety of that AVA. Wow. So when you go out to like Benzer, you go out to the Willamette Valley, it's a lot of grass and a lot of cover crop. There it is just pure rock. Okay. So wow. it gives the Syrah kind of this, what they call a funk to it. So it's kind of this umami type smell. <laughs> it's very, very unique to that area. I mean, it smells yeah. delightful. Well, yeah, no, I mean, it smells absolutely fantastic. It's yeah. wine in cheese day. Ivan, we'd be remiss not to talk about the cheese. Can you tell us about your signature board, which I have not been able to stop looking at since you put Well, it yeah, I mean, when you go down to Benzo, this is exactly what you're pretty much going to get mm -hmm. from the property. And uh, we have a very small team that prepares them, and we prepare them exactly the same. And we're usually really famous for that little rose of salami that you have up there. Oh yeah. Uh, believe it or not, we use like a nice little whiskey glass to kind of create that. And it makes like a really beautiful presentation. Oh wow. And you could just imagine like sitting there at Benza, beautiful vineyard, uh, all the evergreens and seeing all the dogs around. You put that cheese board down, you're just stunned by it. You're in it. So what, what different cheeses do you have on here? So we have some white cheddar, some manchego, and then we have a local goat cheese that comes from the wow. area. Emma, yeah. what would you like to try? Give me some of that goat cheese. The that goat cheese. Fantastic. That's for sure the one. That's what, does it, yeah. what, what do you recommend it goes with? Uh, that, it's already topped with like a little bit of honey that we use. Oh wow. So I would recommend that and probably peel off a little bit of that salami. Okay. Yes. One of those I mean, I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna do my best to be classy something. here. Oh, I just ruin it, ruin it. Yeah. Ruin yeah. it. Well, but <laughs> do you know how hard best. he worked on that? <laughs> <laughs> so, for TV and everything. We were here two and a half hours early. <laughs> So, there you go. Well, thank you for yes. this. I will yeah. attempt eating this while you guys tell us about what you guys have coming up at Benza. Yeah, so you have some really exciting things coming up. Um, one of the amazing things about having Ivan um, work in the at Benza for us is he's, we work very closely, obviously, in the cellar, and he helps make all the wines, Oop. and uh, the wines are better for it, for sure. But Ivan also has a, a pretty amazing background in the culinary world. Yeah, so I come from the CIA, the Culinary Institute of America. I graduated from there. Wow. And that's where I began my chefdom, and after graduation, I worked at a pizza restaurant and fell in love with the fermentation. And so what better way of fermentation of dough and fermentation of wine? 
um, to kind of pair those together and start doing pizza nights on the third oh, I and think fourth. That's, that's awesome. Well, like this celebration is going to be fantastic. We only have a little bit of time left, so I mm -hmm. want to make sure I say thank you to you both for being yeah. here and talking about this celebration. And again, to check out all those wines, upcoming events, or to book a tasting, go to Benza.com. But yes, go to